hello hello it is friday uh we're getting ready to leave getting ready to go getting my hand warmers ready because it's cold today which is crazy because it's been warm the last couple days yeah it's 9 25 i need to go i need to get moving mail is a little heavy not nothing crazy packages are it's been great this week has been pretty good no splits like nothing nothing everyone's coming to work so that's great um but yeah get my hand warmers we're gonna go we're gonna have a good day and that's it we're not going to stress out all day long and make mistakes because i have been the last couple of days been making mistakes and my people on my route are probably like what the hell is wrong with her hoping to be done uh, by 4 30 so i think i can make it happen um but that's about it i got nothing else guys I got nothing else. I'm just tired of stressing out. I'm just tired of the whole damn thing. I just need like to know what's going on. I'm not getting an answer. Okay. All right. We're ready to go. I will check back in later and let you know how it's going. Until then, I bid you adieu. It is 4.30 and I am finished. It's cold today. Well, not super cold, but this morning it was like 40 degrees or 35, whatever. It was, it was chilly. But when you get out there and you start moving around, you warm up. You're, you know, I, I don't wear a jacket. I've got a long sleeve shirt. Anyway, you start warming up. So I'm, you know, delivering the mail and I get to the, um, one of my houses is my first relay. I get to the house and the little old lady comes out to get the mail and I give her her mail and she says, my, my, you are a hardy woman. <laughs> I was like, what? I said, thank you. She wasn't being rude or anything. She said, you're hardy. <laughs> and I was like, okay, thanks. Um, cause she's, she said she didn't know how I could be out there or out here, um, without a jacket on. So I'm a hardy woman. That's what she said. Hardy woman. Anyway, but she wasn't being mean. Um, so yes, so yes, it is 4.30. We are going to go home. I'm actually going to stop by Walmart, as always, uh, to pick something up. And that's about it. Yeah, tomorrow is Friday. I think Maddie is going to Brian's tonight for the weekend. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Mail, mail could have been a little bit better today. It was a little heavy. I'm a I've been getting done now that I come in at 7.30, like around 4, so it's a little late, but it's okay. I just have to get through tomorrow, and then I'm off Sunday and Monday. Yeah, I'm so excited because Monday is supposed to be 80 degrees, and I'm not ready for that. Hell no. Anyway, I just want to pop on and say hello. Last time I popped on was when I started the route, and we have finished. The truck is empty, which is a great feeling because you start and it's so full. All the mail, all the packages is like, Whoa. and then by the end of the day, it's completely empty, which to me, I feel like I've accomplished something, you know, I'm like, yay, look at me. But uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am a hardy woman and don't you forget it. We're home. I'm home. Um, I did not stop at Walmart. I'm going to make a pizza for Eddie uh, since Maddie's not here and I'm gonna make a salad so I am starving it is 5 30 uh, Benson just ate I love that food bowl thing see it's got a lip we're like if he spills any water it won't go in the carpet yeah I really like it anyway yeah uh, taking Benson out for his walk um, still haven't heard anything and that's about it. When I get back, I'm going to take a shower. It's just been, oh, God, kind of stressful, which I know I have talked about. And I've probably said stressful and stressed out and stress, stress, stress 500 times in the last couple of vlogs that you've seen. Are you guys watching that show, um, Becoming Anna? Anna, um, that heiress? I think I already talked about this. Anna Delvinsky. That's not right. Anna Delvey? Um, yeah, going on a $62,000 vacation. That's crazy. That must have been really nice, though. So I'm kind of jealous. Um, we have a vacation coming up in August, and I'm still trying to figure out, like, I don't know. Somebody told me that um, I should think about going to not Atlantic City, but there's another one near it. Atlantic City, and there's some kind of other city. I can't even think of it. I can't think of it. It's near Atlantic City, 
not as expensive. Can't remember. Anyway, um, but something like that. Or Niagara Falls. I think I said something about that a couple weeks ago. I don't know. I've, I want to go somewhere different. I wanted to go to the mountains, um, last fall. I wanted to take Maddie to the mountains. Um, but then that whole thing, the garnishment thing, and I couldn't, but I don't want to go to the mountains and like go camping in a hundred degree weather. Cause it's going to be August before I have vacation. I'm not doing that. So, and I also don't want to spend a lot of money, um, you know, trying to do a, a getaway on a budget, nothing crazy. So, I don't know. We still got a lot of time. He is like, please take me out. Look at him. Look at his face. He's like, please, she won't shut up. He needs to pee. He needs to poop. I have to take Walmart bags with me. Okay. Those little bags that you get, like, in the poop little poopy scoopy things like you could attach it to your leash the little poopy things the little bags they don't work for this guy no they don't um so i usually take uh two walmart bags and i double them up and uh gotta clean it up can't leave it there because uh you don't want your mailman to step in the dog poop okay because it's not fun especially this hardy mailman <laughs> Anyway, all right, I will check back in later. I hope you guys are having a good day. This is my salad, lettuce, tomato, mushrooms, black olives, cucumber, cheese, and some ranch dressing. That's going to be my salad. Pizza. You know, I'm not a big pizza person anyway. Pizza's okay. I can live without it. If I never had another slice, I'd be cool. So it's fine. But yeah, um, this is my salad. I'm going to eat it. And if I had pistachios that were already shelled, because I don't feel like shelling them, I'd put a few of those on there too. Make it kind of fancy. So I'm going to sit down and eat my pizza. I mean, I'm going to sit down and eat my salad and watch Netflix. Thank you. Just kidding, the ATM is out of service. I was gonna get the money order for rent, but the ATM is out, so I got Eddie a bang for work tomorrow. He has to work tomorrow. I don't drink bangs and uh, monsters and Red Bulls. I've never been a fan. I've never even had a Red Bull. Anyway, there's like a thousand people at that gas station right now, like tons of them. I know that the gas prices are going up. Ours, um, it says it's three seventy nine right now for uh, regular. How much is it for you, regular gas? But I guess I'll just have to get the money order in the morning because I'm not going anywhere right now. So, and that's how we pay our rent in the money order. So I shall go back inside. But man, there's like a ton of people over there getting gas. Wherever I am. <laughs> he's always here he is anyway um yeah so that was a wasted trip and i was going to take the trash with me and i forgot the trash and there were so many people out um getting gas the gas is 379 i have a quarter of a tank so i should probably get some gas today in our safety meeting before we started our route our um union steward was talking to us about you know what's going on in russia and he was saying that we need to go out right now and fill our cars up, which, yeah, I guess we should before it increases some more, um, and go buy bread and milk and bottles of water and cases of this and go get all the food because there's going to be a food shortage going to happen soon. And I'm sitting there like, do I need to leave right now? Because I will get panicked. I will be one of those people. Although, when COVID first hit, I was not one of the people uh, fighting over the toilet paper. I, I was not. I, I wasn't. I was delivering a lot of toilet paper and paper towels and hand sanitizers. I was delivering. And they even told us when it all started going down, they said, don't steal people's toilet paper. <laughs> so, um, I'm tired. I'm so tired. 
My body's hurting. Oh, guess what? Mickey Mouse is dead. Look. Look at him. Look at his face, guys. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> he loves his Mickey. It is 10.15. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. Every night before I go to bed, and I tell myself this every night, and I'm like, oh, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to do it. Who cares? Every night before I go to bed, I'm rolling through the house with a vacuum. I check my um, dishwasher. I was just putting everything away. I like to go, I like to vacuum before I go to bed. I like to make sure my dishwasher is ready to go and load it up. I like to straighten the pillows on the couch and like pick everything up it's almost like when I was when I was growing up my dad raised me for the majority I mean I still had a great relationship with my mom but my dad raised me for the majority of my life he worked at the uh, sheriff's department so he always got off at three o'clock in the afternoon and I had to have the house everything had to be picked up and organized and ready to go by the time he got home. That's just the way it was when I was growing up, okay? Or there'd be trouble. So, because he always used to say, you don't want to get caught with your pants down. Like if somebody just shows up at your house. Like, knock, knock, hi, here I am. You know what I'm saying? And I guess that's like stuck with me because I always, I mean, my house is not immaculate. You cannot eat off my kitchen floor. Anyway, I'm just saying, in my head, I'm always thinking, well, what if somebody shows up or what if somebody comes over? You know, I want my house to be, I mean, it's not always, always like that. But when I go to bed, 99% of the time, I'm thinking, what if somebody shows up in the middle of the <laughs> I know it's ridiculous. And plus, I just don't, I don't like to wake up to a mess. So, but then, you know, what's funny is I will vacuum. I literally, I'll vacuum before I go to bed. And then when I get up, get ready for work, get Maddie up and rolling, blah, blah, blah. I'll vacuum before I go to work. <laughs> My strange addiction. I don't know if anyone else is like me where nobody really ever comes over. <laughs> I can't remember the last time someone just knocked on the door and was like, hey, I was in the neighborhood. But if you did... Nine, nine times out of ten, you'll catch me on a good day and the house will be straightened up. But long story short, I'm going to bed. It's 10.20 now. I'm loading the dishwasher and editing the vlog. And that is going to be my night. We're going to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, get ready. Get the coffee. Get that going, that sucker ready to go, and start a new day. Hopefully, the mail will be nice. Everyone will come to work. Um, so, yeah, I hope you've had a good weekend. I hope you're having a good weekend. I feel like this vlog and yesterday's vlog was kind of like, Bleh. I don't know. Whenever I take a couple of days off from vlogging, I feel like I don't know how to vlog anymore. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. So, sorry. And plus, I've been stressed out. Which I've said 55 times. You could probably count how many times and leave it in the comments. Like probably 25 times that I've said that. So I'm sorry. Um, but that's it. I'm going to go ahead and go. I will talk to you tomorrow. As always, I will vlog again tomorrow. Bye everyone.